Well, here we go again for February 23rd, 2011. Psalm 83. This is a prophecy in the Old Testament that tells us the bordering nations around Israel are going to unite together and they're going to attack Israel. They're going to attack Israel thinking that they're going to wipe them out. I suggest that you read all of Psalm 83. This is found in the Old Testament. Now I've been giving you signs for years now that the birth pangs of this prophecy are getting worse and worse. And I keep saying and warning that one day that one of these events, these conflicts that are coming from the Palestinians over to India Israel will cause a major problem that will lead, uh, no doubt, to the Psalm 83 fulfillment. Again, we see action taking place by the Palestinians against the Israelis. Here's the headline. I'll put that up so you can Google it if you want. I'll have the link at my website, www.bibleprophecyman.com. It says, Grad rockets fired at Bel Shiva for the first time since the Gaza War. One missile hit, hit building in residential area causing damage. No casualties were reported. Palestinians report Israeli airstrike retaliation wounding two Islamic Jihad militants. Then it goes on to say, shortly afterwards, a mortar shell was fired at the force and five additional mortar shells were fired into Israeli territory, landing in the Shabbat Nigva region council, the IFD or IDF statement read. Uh, subsequently, the force identified a number of militant, militants in the same area and returned fire uh, in their direction. The direct hit was confirmed. So here we go. We're, we're seeing the, uh, these conflicts coming out. And please watch the Middle East because one of these days this is going to happen. Now, why this is going on, today's news, and I didn't post this, so check this for yourself because it's on the news. The two Iranian ships, warships, passed through the Suez Canal headed into the Mediterranean Sea and they're making their way up to the Syrian port. Uh, it has been confirmed that Israel's ships are following the Iranian ships and they were said that if they were to deviate any way uh, they, would, uh, they would consider this a provocation and no doubt that they would attack. Now we know that Iran is a uh, a major force behind problems between the Palestinians and Israel and I don't believe that they're coming uh, through the Suez Canal and now again these uh, rockets going into the Israeli territory is a coincidence I believe that all of this is tied together and I believe that if there's any time where Iran wanted to divert its attention to their own problems and stop civil unrest coming because he's a dictatorship there that it, they would try to uh, divert their attention by placing uh, other urgent uh, priorities and center that around the Palestinian problem and the Israeli problem considering uh, the peace, the failed peace projects. So uh, this is what we need to be watching for. I pray that you would be on alert for this because we're definitely seeing news coming as faster than I've ever seen it before. It's almost almost impossible to report on everything that's happening now. Everything is happening so fast. But again, these are the evidences of the birth pangs of the last day. So thanks again for allowing me into your home. I pray that you would tell others about what I'm doing and lead them to the website so that they could start reading this information and they'll see there is definitely a correlation between these final events and what we're seeing in the news compared to what the Bible prophecies uh, tell us to watch for. So. Thanks again.